Hi, boys and girls. I'm... You don't know your name? No. I'm Glenn, and this is Kinsey. And today, we I'm going to be showing you how to do lesson 5.3. It says, use models to show 4 plus 9 equals 13. Draw models to show a related subtraction fact. Well, I know here we have all these pennies, so we're going to count out 13 because it says you have... You're equal to 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now let's move these. Okay, so we have 9 and 4 all right here. So when we add these up, we get 13 because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13. That's the total. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so if we go over here, we could say 4 plus 9 equals 13. Then it said to do an equal subtraction problem. So if you look here at these dots, 13, well, we know that the biggest number always goes in front when you're doing subtraction. So let's put it there. And we know it's subtraction, so we're going to put our subtraction and our equal sign there. Now, if we look at the 4 right here, you can see the dots go all the way to the end because it's the smallest number. So then you're going to put that there. And then your 9 goes in the middle. So if you look at it this way, you have your pennies here. You need to go away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And you have 4 left. So you had 13 pennies, you took away 9, mm -hmm. and you had 4 left. Yeah. That subtraction. And when we're comparing subtraction and addition, we call it the double switcheroo because you switch your numbers right here. We move the largest number to the beginning and we move the smaller number. It doesn't have to be the smallest. It could just be one of these smaller numbers. We move to the end. And then we also switch the sign from addition, from plus, to subtraction, minus. So we switch the numbers and we switch the sign. Say bye, Gwen. Bye. Say bye, Kins.